change the word to something else because I was told this is a family event. I don't know how families would ever have come to be if it wasn't for this word or the concept behind it. I'm going to change it anyway because our purpose here is not to piss people off but to make friends. So.
baby. I want you, baby. I really am crazy. Crazy just like I said. From the bottom of my else's leg to the top of my crazy head. To the top of my crazy head. To the top of my crazy head. I'm mad about you. I'm mad about you. I'm mad about you. I'm gonna scream and shout. But I don't wanna wake the dead. I'm freaking myself out from the bottom of my restless. To the top of my crazy head To the top of my crazy head To the top of my crazy head One name church, one name state. The governor's wife sent the parson's daughter out the back door with a bucket of water. A bucket of rain like Noah's flood. I left two wet dogs doing it in the mud. Butcher came by and said, I'll show you how. Stop them dogs and now. State tugs at his chain while church is confined. But the best part of him never left her behind. Thought you a diamond ring, a silver spoon. I won't let you stay back.
This law has yet to take effect, and you have to ask why. Well, it's because the people of Wisconsin stood up and stood together and stood in solidarity. We stood in solidarity in the streets of Madison as we are today. We stood together in solidarity in streets across all the cities and towns across the state. Together, shoulder to shoulder, we're here to give a voice to working families. We will dare to bring democracy to Wisconsin. We will dare to recall and bring Wisconsin a government that protects our rights and does not strip them away. like this happening here today that will happen all across the state of Wisconsin, it is our way of saying that this is what democracy looks like. They were telling us something. They're saying, 
Independence is going to come back to Wisconsin. Yeah. We're going to win this fight. Yeah. I take that as a sign. You need to stand with me, and I need to stand with you. Yeah. We need to learn each other's stories so that you don't think that I'm here for your jobs. We need to learn each other's stories so that we know that $800 million in cut to school means a cut to children. If we don't understand that, then we're not here for the right fight. We are here to fight for those who can't be here. We are here to stand with Wisconsin for those who cannot stand here. And that is why I'm standing with Wisconsin, because we are finally getting it. You may know that family farmers have been put down by corporate consolidation and concentration in our prices paid to us for our milk, for our grain, for our beef, for our pork, and then the prices we have to pay for seed and fertilizer. And this budget is a payback to all those people that are putting down our farmers and our rural communities. We will not accept this budget. And an important thing that we need to know about this budget is it slashes badger care. And that is not acceptable. He wants to cut 125 million from the UW Madison. And he wants to cut off the UW Madison for the rest of the UW system. Sadly, with the Board of Trustees of his own cronies. And moving towards organization and organization of education. We need to remind Scott Walker and the Republicans that this is Wisconsin. We believe in the Wisconsin idea. Since banks get bailed out, people get sold out. Yeah. So we're going to say that real loud so they can hear it back in Portland, Oregon. I'm told I bring it back home. So one, two, three. Banks get bailed out, people get sold out. Instead of taking workers' rights from common people like ourselves. 
the, the democracy that generations of Wisconsin parents and students count on protecting their rights. It is not the democracy reflected by Governor Walker's extreme budget. Wisconsin's democracy has values. It values working families. It values those in seniors, those who are poor, those who need our assistance, and it protects them. It gives workers a voice in their workplace. I'm an English teacher. I read Governor Walker's budget. I read it again. I tried to withhold the red pen, but a governor's walkers, governor walkers budget gets an F. We as a state have so much to be proud of. We have an education system second to none in the world, and we must preserve that. I mean, just this last week, we were listed. We have the highest graduation rates in the country. But he was too busy going to Washington to stand with the voucher proponents who want to underfund and take all the money. we have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to stand together as never before, to build upon the basic principles of Wisconsin's democracy. We have the power to be active, and as so many of our speakers today have said, it is not just here in Madison. It is even more important as we move to June and to July to take it out to our communities to be part of those recall elections and make sure, make sure that our Senate reflects the democracy that we know Wisconsin deserves. As Malin just reflected to you, as I travel the country, I am astonished at the length and the breadth of the connection people feel with us and our struggle here in Wisconsin. The whole world is watching. It is because of everything that you continue to do and because of the wonderful creativity and strength of working families across this state, we will prevail. We will not let this go unnoticed. Thank you for being here today.